With what we now know about gravity, check out my video, episode four, how gravity works, and also the last episode, measuring the speed of light, we should be able to make a pretty strong case for some pretty radical predictions. But I think we will end up with more questions than answers or predictions for this episode. So here on the left, light travels slower relative to the right side of the screen. One of the consequences of that would be this. Sending a photon packet to the moon and measuring the time that it takes to come back should be less than if a packet of photons traveled that same distance here on Earth. Additionally, if we could set up a photon detector on the moon, it should show that a photon packet would take longer for the same distance because the clocks progress faster on the moon than on Earth. I, I hope you kind of caught all that. That's, I know it's a little complicated, but here are some questions. Question time! Here I've created an artificial space density map of some deep space with different galaxy clusters scattered around where black is instantaneously fast and white is infinitely slow, sort of like a black hole where time has stopped. A photon traveling across space will encounter different densities of space, that is gravity, and therefore travel at different speeds in relation to the entire universe. Here is the question. How little time compared to our normal here on Earth does it take light to travel through deep space where there is little crunching of space? That is, without a galaxy or black hole slowing the photon down, will the photon travel through these regions of space nearly instantaneously? Thank you for watching all the way through the video. If you would like to support this channel since YouTube has at this time decided not to, please help me out by signing up to be a Patreon for this channel. Thanks.